in terms of tomorrow night's game? Yeah, no, um, fortunate we were able to actually watch the game live with one of our coaching staff and we've, we've also seen the game on, on video. So we're familiar as we need to be for, for the game and the opposition. So it's not that bad at all actually, it's been worse in many times before in, in different years. But again, it's all about for us maximising the quality and strength of our squad tomorrow night. Yeah, you're going to get a chance to see a lot of uh, players who maybe haven't started this season and guys who are motivated to maybe get into that starting eleven. Well, we're in great shape. We, to be fair, the road trip was, was productive in the fact that I thought the performances were excellent. We should have won the Toronto game. We came back on Wednesday and, and again produced a, a very good performance against Red Bulls and, and got the character to find the, uh, the tying goal. We also had the luxury of having three DC Knight players on loan, so everybody's completely fresh. Um, I certainly have focused on winning the game on Wednesday, but have one eye on the Louisville match. Them being top of the league is kind of uh, makes that one a very important game and, and a one we must win. No, to be honest with you, it was a lot more frustrating last season because we were probably in the same spot, but the performances were nowhere near what we expected. And you could see the writing was on the wall with what was going to happen. This year, I think performances have been top class. Everyone's very, very confident. We're a much improved team, but again, the league is, is much improved as well. But we're in good shape. We've said to the guys, you know, with a, with a different result in Charlotte and, the, and a victory against Toronto, which we should have won, we were top of the league right now. So we need to, we need to be calm about it. We need to be confident. And I fully expect uh, a very strong performance tomorrow night. Yeah, we haven't sat back. We sat back a little bit against the Red Bulls just because tactically we wanted to have them solve a few things initially. But if you look at the game, the second half, I felt we started to dominate and, and certainly was the team that was going to come out and win the game in the end. Toronto, we, we stepped up and went after them and we looked like the home team for, for long stretches. So again, we're not afraid of uh, playing anybody. We're not going to sit back and, and let teams dictate play. And I think it will be a good opportunity again for these for the players on the fringe of the squad to show how good they really are tomorrow night yeah it, it's tricky you know we've, we're fully prepared for the game tomorrow night we've trained yesterday or trained today they're, they're um it's a cohesive team they've trained together for two days straight so we're not overlooking the opposition in any way i just feel very confident in the strength of the squad we do have, if we're successful in, in, on the Wednesday match, we do have a tough tie to travel to Fort Lauderdale on the Wednesday, which then hits us with a trip to Cincinnati on the Saturday, which is probably a worst case scenario logistically for us. And again, if you've seen Cincinnati, they've been av averaging 20,000 a game right now. So it's uh, an environment we're looking forward to. So it will be all about maximizing the squad, trying to give players as much time as possible and keeping people fresh for the, uh, for the league games. Um, not particularly. I felt that we had have had some quality opportunities um, in the Toronto game, in the Red Bulls game. The time to worry is when we're not creating chances. Um, being in my background for scoring goals, I understand that it's coming very soon. And, and this may be, the Wednesday's game may be the perfect game for us if we can play at the level required to, to break out and put some goals away and then bring that into the Louisville game. No, I think it plays a lot into to the atmosphere. I think it plays in just being familiarity as always with, with your home games. But I, as we've talked about before, City Stadium atmosphere is changing. Uh, it's becoming more intim intimidating for the opposition. And the players truly, truly love playing in front of this crowd. And it makes a huge difference. And I think we've been poor on the road, but sometimes that crowd can give you an extra goal. And uh, it's, it's not... Um, it's not made up. It really is a situation where our players, the coaching staff just really enjoy playing from the crowd.